Evolution has become accepted truth in our society. According to a 2012 Gallup poll, 47% of respondents believe humans evolved from a common ancestor. It is so accepted that most educators do not even question it, rather they defend it. Yet few people know anything about the competing theory of intelligent design. My name is Jim Bendewald. I'm the Executive Director for Evidence Press. Periodically, I video record interviews I have with university students. After some discussion, I show the person a penny and a rock. Were either of these intelligently designed, I ask. The person points to the penny. I then ask, well, how can you tell that the penny was designed? And the simple answer is, the penny has the recognizable face of Abraham Lincoln, and it also includes the words, in God we trust. Recognizable shapes and patterns are obvious indicators of design. But my point is simply, some things are designed, such as the penny, while other things are not, such as the rock. So we have these two very clear options, design and not design. But the mainstream educators and media would have us believe that concerning living organisms, there's only one option, not design, commonly stated as evolution. Even though living organisms have hyper-complex systems and clearly show the appearance of design, the only acceptable option is evolution. It is not for lack of evidence for design, it is simply because they cannot allow a divine foot in the door. As Richard Lewentin wrote, it is not that the methods and institutions of science somehow compel us to accept a material explanation of the phenomenal world, but on the contrary, that we are forced by our a priori adherence to material causes. While the mainstream educators are committed to material causes, the reality is that when evolution is taught in our schools without presenting evidence for design, it is not true education. It's brainwashing. The evolution-only approach removes critical thinking. In contrast, real education examines competing ideas. Go to evidencepress.com to learn more about evolution and evidence for design.